أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني أفقه قولي um, I want to start out by saying that I already love this crowd uh, You know subhanallah I've, I've spoken to a lot of different groups uh, for many years and uh, you know all over the world really uh, but each crowd is different and has you know a different sort of vibe and I just want to say that uh, I, I already feel such a warmth and welcome you know what I'm in the south and I love the south um, but it, it really is beautiful it's a beautiful crowd it's a beautiful uh, event and it's a beautiful cause I was told that almost exactly one year ago today at this exact event my sister spoke um, and so it seems to be a family tradition <laughs> and uh, it's a great tradition. Uh, I stand here uh, in front, you know, before you supporting nine different organizations, all of which are doing amazing work, uh, work which is very much a part of our Islamic tradition and that is social work, that is social services, providing social services for the community. See, the thing is about service is that, uh, you know, whenever I get a chance to stand up here and speak with a group of people for a cause that has to do with service, uh, I always hope, my goal is to, is to have people leave the room with just a couple concepts. And if, if people leave with just a few concepts, then I'll feel happy, I'll feel, I'll feel content. And one of those concepts is this, is that when we give to others, we are essentially and first and foremost giving to ourselves. Anytime I reach out and I help another person up, I am actually helping myself first and helping that person second. And I'm going to spend the rest of the few minutes that I have with you telling you why. Why is it that when I give to others, I am essentially giving to myself? I'm going to make two arguments or rather two types of arguments. Uh, one is just a, is a purely uh, psych, secular psychology argument and the other is the Islamic argument. Now if I look at this question from just a purely psycho secular psychology perspective, this is what you'll find. And that is that, so there's traditional psychology which tended to look at what's wrong with the human being. The focus with traditional psychology had been for a long time looking at abnormal psychology. You know, the different things that can go wrong. And then what are the symptoms and then how do we treat it? But more and more, we now are coming out with the, the sort of the new wave of psychology which is called positive psychology. And positive psychology isn't so interested in looking at what can go wrong with the human being but rather more focused on how can we improve the well-being of the human being. How can we just be happier people? How can we live more fulfilling lives? And here is what's very interesting about what they found. They found that